What I see when I watch other people's movies. Reindeer games. No, not that one. Although I may have something to say about that one somewhere down the road. No, I'm talking about the original Reindeer Games. The one made in 1996, directed by the late Shane Wusta. Reindeer Games, the original, is a character study wrapped in a psychological thriller that explores the obsessive and tormented mind of a restaurant dishwasher named Alec Clark. Alec has a thing for Kate, one of the waitresses at a restaurant they both work at called F. Parker Reedy's. After a horrible date with waitress Kate, Alec knocks her unconscious and drags her into the basement of his home where he keeps her tied up for some amount of time. While she's tied up, Alec continues to go to work as Kate's co-workers wonder about why she's a no-show. And then there are the personal things that have to be dealt with because the longer you keep a person against their will, the more biological functions you're going to have to take into consideration, and Alec is more than willing to take care of Kate's needs. Alec has major psychological issues, obviously. Rooted in a home terror event that took place when he was a child, and a lot of his actions in the film are motivated by his horrific memories resurfacing. Reindeer Games is pretty much the first truly independent film I ever saw. So I have a lot of memories of re-watching it again and again as a junior in high school. Trying to figure out how the filmmakers kept this production together given their shoestring budget. You see, for me, this was the first locally made movie I ever saw, and it blew my mind that someone in my hometown could make films, like, at all. But it's interesting seeing the film now, after so many years, because there are a lot of things about it that I don't remember or misremembered, and now there are a lot of influences that I can now identify, that I wasn't able to identify before. For example, it's an indie film clearly influenced by David Lynch and Twin Peaks, an influence I was unfamiliar with at the time. But here's something really interesting. This guy here is Michael Chitwood, and at the time of filming was the actual chief of police for the Portland, Maine Police Department, and at one time was the Philly detective who brought in Ira Einhorn, the famous counterculture figure who ended up murdering his girlfriend, Holly Maddox. There is an Unsolved Mysteries episode where Chitwood is prominently featured, and it's worth checking out. The star of Reindeer Games, Kyle Rankin, would go on to win the second season of Project Greenlight with his friend and colleague, Ephraim Botel. The film's later DVD distribution has it released under the title, The Girl in the Basement, so if you want to see it, this is how to find it. But to me and all the indie filmmakers living in southern Maine in the 1990s, it'll always be the original Reindeer Games. Hey, Alec. Which way are you going? I'm just up here, are you? That way. 